Garuda team, I've got some good news. The chemical agent used as a catalyst for their WMD is being transported to our shores from the Estovakian mainland. This catalyst has already been carried into the outskirts of Grace Marion. As a measure of caution against any attempts to destroy it, it has been concealed at Fort Norton in Grace Maria's north. If we start advancing again, the enemy will most likely bring the catalyst into Grace Maria at a faster pace. If in fact, weapons of mass destruction are used on the population of Grace Maria, the resulting devastation can't be expressed in enough words. It will lead to unspeakable tragedies. We've used this intelligence to come up with a solid proposal on how to prevent this scorched earth policy from being executed in our capital. Just a minute ago, we received a letter of approval for our prevention plans from the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The proposal we put on the table for our scorched earth prevention policy is really quite simple. While the enemy transport unit is stationed at Fort Norton, we'll ambush them. We'd like to call it our tactic for preemptive victory. The enemy has loaded this catalyst into their transport vehicles and is able to send them into Grace Maria at any time. This plan will be carried out by a handful of our top pilots under absolute secrecy. Fly through Fort Norton's canyon at an extremely low altitude to avoid radar detection and take out those transport vehicles. We've determined that a high-risk mission of this magnitude could not be executed by anyone other than Garuda team. We're counting on a flawless execution here. Garuda team, time to take off. Observation facilities have been destroyed. Garuda team, get moving! 
Drop your altitude. We've got to show up on enemy radar. your back. And you've got a party waiting for us, right? It'll be a nice change from all that lip service. Enemy forces are still in the vicinity. Stay on alert until you get back. Incoming. This is a manageable number. Warning. Enemy presence detected on radar. Damn it. You've got to be kidding me. Enemy aircraft approaching. Be careful. I got my hopes up too soon. Oh well, let's get this over with. Looks like you're gonna have to face the music. Eliminate those enemy planes.
Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Missile was evaded. Talisman, you have a bandit on your tail! Mission accomplished. The WMD catalyst has been destroyed, and we have evaded the scorched earth threat to Grace Maria. As a result, your suspension has been officially lifted, and from this point on, we will be dispatching you into various missions again. This war is almost over. All forces resume advancing. We're about to free Grace Maria once and for all.
We are huddled together in this cramped room. There is no way out for any of us. One boy is called Radio, aptly named considering he never parts with his own. He's spouting off code words used by the American fighter pilots as he takes on the role of a jet himself. Hey, kid! This child's family owned and operated a well-known restaurant in the city. His father was a talented chef, and his mother a humble young waitress. They were both killed, their restaurant destroyed, all because of our aerial assaults. She proudly sings a song that was sung by her nation's pilots. I had this image in my mind of street children being a symbol of strife and despair brought on by the horrors of war. Now that I've had a closer look, I'm beginning to see something quite different. These children are lonely, but full of pride for their nation's pilots, always with them in spirit. Even with my crippled leg, I feel as though I could dance the night away with an angel. These children were hiding their treasure, their golden king, protecting it at all costs, keeping it safe from us, the invaders. As we walked the long road, Ludmilla and I came across an unusual tank. I seem to remember this man from somewhere. What is his tank doing out here, away from all the action? I thought the front lines were a bit more to the west. Why don't you ladies go on ahead? <clears throat> We've got to figure out some way to sneak this hunk of metal into town. All right, then. Good luck. Bank job, boys. See ya. Best get out of here and have a nice dance with the angels now. My family's inside joke has become quite the buzzword. Even the captain uses it to say goodbye. But it feels strange to hear others say it. We're almost there. And then I saw something horrible. Grace Maria, or what's left of it, was transformed into a heavily armed fortress. The Estovakian military intends to fight to the bitter end. She stares up at them, holding on to some sort of premonition. I opened the briefcase that the children kindly returned to me. This mandate has been sealed for so long, but the time has come to break that seal. This is 